What's up? Today we're going to convert this Light BS to 60 volt. If you don't know, these come standard at a 48 volt, these terrible forks. But we are going to upgrade this just to 60 volt. I'm gonna run you through the process. So we're gonna switch it out with the stock LBX controller and then put in a 60 volt battery. What the top speed is on the stand. Uh, this is what, uh, Eco. That's in kilometers, so that's roughly 32 kilometers. And then in sport, Fifty-eight kilometers. That's obviously not a true reading of the actual speed, but that is what I'm getting on the stand with the 48 volt setup. First, I'm going to take this guard off and just get it out of the way. It makes it easier to work on the bike, especially on the front end with the guard out of the way. Now you can undo your cabling and the controller to get access to the plugs as well. Next, you're going to want to undo these, this bolt, and the same one on the other side, and that'll move this whole bit forward so you can get access to all the wiring behind there. I've removed all the bolts and the controller should just come free. It's still got the positive negative connected up down there. Oh, the phase wire, sorry. So you will struggle to get it too far forward. I do need to take this uh, mudguard off the bottom. Got the mudguard undone. Pretty filthy. I'm gonna take that off and leave it off. I do have this spare throwing guard here. So I'm gonna put this one on when I put it back together. Now the controller is hanging off. You can pull this all the way back and get all the access to all these plugs in here. So behind that air switch are these three plugs. You just want to locate those and disconnect them. It's a bit hard to see on the camera, but there's one, two, three, just in there. To get to your phase wires and your power wires, you're going to have to come through the back of the bike here, just through here, and, and undo them like this. I've disconnected all those face wires and power cable, but I forgot there's also two Phillips head screws in here you need to take off. I'm also going to take this off just to give it a nice clean and then clean up everything inside here with a cloth. I've got both controllers off. Here's the 48 volt controller, here's the 60 volt controller. Side by side, they look identical. I'll flip it over. They look identical. You wouldn't be able to tell the difference if you didn't know where each controller came from. Now I'll just give it a big tidy up inside here. It hasn't been cleaned in a long time. Uh, I bought this bike used so yeah, it needs a little clean up. A little tip for you, so if you get this far, I would remove your tilt sensor. You don't need it. Every time you lay the bike down, you have to turn it off and turn it back on to get it going again. Uh, it's just located in here behind the controller. There's one plug for it. It just slides out and you unplug it and it's done. That is the plug for your tilt sensor. Just disconnect that one. And then you just have to remove this bracket to get it out because the uh, air switch holds it in there so it can't escape. It's just, it's just those two um, bolts here. One there, one there. And that's what it looks like. It just sits in there. Now I've got all that clean and the tilt sensor removed. It's just the reverse steps to put the controller back in again. To get the controller to sit there while you plug it in, it's easy, just put those first two bolts in and then you can feed your wires up through there and then you've got easy access and your controller's not trying to fall out. Just one thing to note is to make sure that your phase wires go to the correct places. Yellow, green, blue. Um, if you put them the wrong way around, your motor might end up spinning backwards. Definitely don't get the positive negative looks around either. Got the phase wires all and positive negative all what bolted back up. Now it's a bit tight trying to feed these wires in there. They do have to go up into the uh, head frame there, but it will fit. Once you've got the cables jammed up there, push this back, put in your two bolts on the side, and then start putting all this back on. So you need to put your two bolts back in here, you get a little guard there, the bottom shield, and the mud guard. All done, so I put those back on, put that little cover back on, I put this one back on as well. I've got the aftermarket motor guard on now. All right, it's all back together. Let's throw that battery in and fingers crossed it all works. Great. 
it's success. All right, this uh, eco. Forty one in eco and in sport. Sixty eight in sport. That's about right for the uh, Suron. It, it does have a fifty eight tooth sprocket on there. 60 volt conversion done. The reason I put the stock controller from LBX on there is because it's a nice cheap upgrade. Most people give them away, maybe you spend 100 bucks getting the new controller, but straight away you've got a 6 kilowatt bike, and this is for my son, so that's just perfect, perfect upgrade. If you want to see more of the build I do of this youth, please give us a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.